Hello there, I'm Eamon Holmes reporting for Sky News. We have an important story breaking, a Sky News exclusive, and we head now to Studio One at Sky Academy Skills Studio. Good afternoon, and welcome to Sky News. I'm Eileen McLean. We have a special report for you today, looking at the worrying rise in the number of animals who are becoming extinct. Across the world, animals are finding it increasingly difficult to survive, either because of humans hunting them or their homes being destroyed by global global warming. More than one in five species of animals are threatened due to loss of their home, shortage of food or human action. Some species become extinct because of their big changes in the environment, bringing species to die out from the end of the ice age, which is about 11,000 years ago, where Willie Mavis, Willie Reynolds and Steffi Bison. Hunting laws have now changed to protect endangered animals around the world. In the UK, the Hunting Act 2004 has banned hunting some animals such as foxes, hares and deer. Some of the large mammals on the endangered species list are rhinos, elephants, pandas, leopards and chimpanzees. Amphibians are, amphibians are the ca cautious risk of extinction. There is a list of animals nearing the extinction or that are already extinct called the Red List of Threatened Species. Some species have become extinct because they were hunted by humans. A famous example is the dodo bird, a bird that cannot fly and lives and lived in the island of Madagascar. Later in today's report, Rebecca is in the studio speaking with some experts for the views. Neve is live from a national park in Africa speaking with some eyewitnesses. But first we can go to Erin and Sophie, who are live from Australia. Good day, Sheila! Thank you, Ellie, and hello, I'm Erin, and I'm Sophie, and today we are here live in the Australian Outback to talk to you about the many species of animals in the world. Australia is known for being the country in the world with the most dangerous species and is mostly famous for its kangaroos and koala bears. As well as Australia, the Amazon in South America is home to around 2.5 million insect species and 40,000 plant species. We'll now, we'll now tell you a little bit more. At the moment, there are 76 species of mammals we know to be extinct. However, some scientists keep some mammals who are in danger of becoming extinct in captivity to save them. The average depth of a deep ocean is 3,800 metres. Fishing now only happens as far as 2,000 metres to stop the fragile ecosystem being damaged. Rainforest used to cover 14% of the Earth's surface. But due to the tree cutting, they now only cover around 6%. Well, now pass over to, pass over to Neve in Africa for more of this story. I've been Sophie. And I've been Erin. Over, over to you, Neve. Thanks, Erin and Sophie. My name is Neve, and I am live from the National Park in Africa. I'm joined by Mackenzie, who is a park ranger in the National Park and has seen endangered animals being poached here in Africa. So can you tell us what you have witnessed in the National Park? I have witnessed animals being poached. What animals are being killed and why? Tigers are being poached for their fur, which is made into clothes and carpets. People also think they can make medicine, medicines from different parts of their body. Is this the only animal that is being poached? No, there is many more. The rhinos and elephants are being hunted for their tusks, which contain ivory, a very expensive material. What are we going to do to stop this? Hopefully we are going to get more park rangers who will look after endangered animals. I hope to speak to the government about making it illegal to sell real fur and ivory. Now you have heard from a park ranger in Africa, let's find out what the experts have to say with Rebecca. Thank you Neve. I'm Rebecca reporting from Sky News. I'm joined today by Ryan Duncan from WWF and Professor Warren Thompson from what kind of animals are in danger of becoming extinct? Tigers, snowy leopards, rhino, pandas, coral reefs, elephants and many more. Species can become extinct throughout natural events or human actions like poaching and killing rhinos for their ivory. 
What are people doing to help endangered animals? Many people have adopted wild and endangered animals, raising money for charities that help save the animals from extinction. For example, the Highland Wildlife Park allows people to adopt endangered animals. What else can people do to help these animals? People can donate to animal charities or sponsor an animal. WWF recommends contacting your MSP at and asking them to support conservation projects. Thank you both for joining me today. Join us next time when we hear about Kenner Primary School cycle to Helix Park. I'm Rebecca reporting live from Sky News. <laughs> Thanks to the team reporting from Sky Academy Skill Studios, that's the end of our special report. I'm Eamon Holmes. Thank you for watching.